telling of Doc Eason. This is the story of two gals and a guy, a soap opera of sorts. Now let's find out why. The first two of three were husband and wife, a king and his queen for most of their life. Now he called her Edith and she called him Stan. She was his queen. Stan was her man, don't you love it? It's poetry. <laughs> it's not much, it's all I got to work with. Now the king, he could smile, but the queen she could not, for it was child they wanted, but could not be got. Ah, the king was potent, virile, well made. Twas the queen who was sterile, you see, she is spayed. <laughs> Neutered, gelded, fixed. It's a veterinary term, back away. Ah, the king yearned a son to carry his name, and soon it was Edith he started to blame. The fighting, the yelling, Edith could take it no more. She called Stan a bum, and his mistress a horrible person. She was, it was a turf, she went on and I was awful. <laughs> Oh, she knew about Kate, all right. Oh, yes, a lovely young lass with a face like a queen and a firm, shapely ankle. <laughs> nice ankles, huh? She's a little clubfoot, but she still dances well, and that's important in a marriage. What's he talking about? Twas Kate the king lusted, but still loved his queen, and so a threesome they became with the king in between. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. The King Stan Trio, they came to be known. It's a young crowd, isn't it? <laughs> but a king with two queens would be rocking the throne. You see, lust and greed don't mix well with fate. And soon, it was Edith who lusted for Kate. <laughs> oh, they're awake in the back row now. <laughs> two queens in love soon sent Stan away. But the king, he returned. He wanted to play. <gasps> Thanks for noticing, those of you who did. They refused him quick. Sent him back outside the walls, and should he return, they would cut off his hand <laughs> so he couldn't open the door. But, well, Stan was persistent. He wanted to play, and so he snuck back once while Kate was away. A fight soon broke out. He'd have screamed, yelled, and hissed. Not to mention the king. Boy, was he pretty upset. <laughs> well, Kate would return much to Edith's delight. But what of King Stan now, nowhere in sight? Ah, two queens in love, rather happy, quite gay. <laughs> Congenial, convivial, friendly, happy, happy. <laughs> but not so the king had not had his way. So what is the moral now, the lesson we learn from Stan, Kate, and Edith, and the tables they turn? Well, I told it to Stan, and now I'll tell it to you. You see, you can't have your Kate. Oh. And Edith, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>